Hey everybody, it's me, Alexandra. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and we are back with a part four of testing out Redken Shades EQ liquid toners. Today, I am using the Pivot Point swatches. It has a level 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5, and a gray tone. I'm super excited to try these out. I read a lot of your comments, and they all said that you love the video, but didn't like how all the swatches were level 10, and I was using like a three <laughs> level 10 swatches. So I completely understand, and I got this pivot point swatch thing from my coworker Greta. So thanks, Greta, for giving me this because it's awesome, and I'm definitely gonna put it to use. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing as I do last time, just use all of the toners and just test some swatches out today. So I'm so excited, and before we get started, I just want to introduce my lovely assistant, Sarah. Yay! She's been on my channel before, helping me out with um, the part two of the Greg and Shades EQ, and now she's back for part four. <laughs> so thanks so much for coming in and helping me, because it's such a, a major help helping me with all of these. Thanks for having me. Well, let's get started. <laughs>
Okay guys, before I show you the results, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for like 2,300 subscribers. I'm pretty sure before I did this video, I was like blown away. I can't believe I have like over 2,000 subscribers now, like 2,000 friends, like how crazy is that? Um, thank you guys so much. I can't believe like how far like my channel has grown and like I'm so excited to see like where this has to take me. I have so much fun making these videos, so it'd mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button and like this video. All right, guys, now let's get to the results. Alrighty guys, so what did you guys think about this video? Make sure that you comment down below, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up to help your girl out. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you subscribe for more videos because there are more videos coming soon. If you guys have any other requests um, besides like Redken, Shazy Q, I did Joyco, I could do Paul Mitchell, or like any other requests that you guys have, just like comment down below and I'd love to try them out. Um, I've been using shades for not a year, I would say like around like nine months now, and I've definitely learned a lot more by using them like on my clients and using them on myself. Um, I do like them. One thing I don't like about them is that they are translucent, but I mean like then sometimes it's a good thing. You know what I mean? So you kind of just got to pick and choose. They do have the like, um, instead of processing liquid, it's like the processing like gel. So it like thickens it up a little bit. Um, they also have the cream demis, so they're not just liquid. So there are options out there. Um, one thing I noticed is like with the swatches is like the gray uh, swatches like really don't pick up that much on really anything. And then when I use the three, like the level three on the level fives, like, I don't know. I just feel like they all look the same in my opinion. I don't know. I, I left them in the video just so you could see it, but I know they like don't look different, <laughs> but I was like, whatever, I did it. So I'm going to put them in the video. 
My favorite one was definitely the 10T. When I saw that, I was like, wow. Like that's really pretty. Like if somebody lifts to that perfect level 10 and they want to be like the ice queen level, I mean, 10T is like the best. I was like, wow. I love the VROs. Like the VROs like have my heart. They're just so freaking pretty. Um, the GIs are like a staple. Like you always need a GI on your cabinet. It's like the perfect, like gives the perfect hint of gold to make uh, your formula brighter and it's like makes it look all iridescent looking. It's so pretty. It's just like the perfect thing to add into every single formula. I love the RBs. I think they're so freaking pretty. What else do I like? Ooh, the AAs. AAs are really, really pretty. Another reason why I love shades is because there's just such a huge variety and then you can also mix your formulas. So there's just like so many creations and concoctions you can come up with. It's just like the possibilities are endless with using Shades EQ. Just the one thing I didn't like about the liquid, it's just like translucent, but that could be a good thing. Um, yeah, so if I were to go for something that like I needed more like opaque, I would use probably Paul Mitchell or Joyco, but the thing with Joyco is that you're very limited to their, to your options there. It's either warm or neutral, pretty much. And now in Cosmo, you can't find them anywhere. So like, there's that. Um, and then Paul Mitchell, we carry here. So like, we, we have it now. So I've been using that a lot more. And they definitely up their game up. So I'm going to close out. I just want to give a special thank you to Sarah for coming in and helping me. She did have to leave early because she had plans with her mom. So she left, but... If you guys want to check her out, she has a YouTube channel and her Instagram here below. Thank you so much, Sarah, for coming in and helping me. I love you so much. Um, and make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and that like button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.